So today I want to talk about the brand new 1960s Batman Batcave diorama from Factor Entertainment. Is it a hit or miss? Let's find out next. Hello my friends and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name is Chris. I'm the Batman statue collector and on this channel we do high-end statue collecting reviews, unboxing, so much more. And today we're actually going to be doing another hit or miss video. And I actually had this one requested by a follower here on the channel. And they said, hey Chris, I want you to do a hit or miss video for the brand new Batcave diorama from Factory Entertainment. Now this is a company that I had not even heard of prior to this particular diorama. And again, this is the 1960s piece. Now this is a sizable piece with a lot of features, including a lot of light up features, uh, movable around parts and things like that but the price point is quite high. And so that's why I wanted to give you my thoughts and opinions on this piece of whether it's worth it or not. And so without further ado, is it a hit or miss? Let's find out next. All right, guys, so here we go. And I'm really excited to talk about this one because again, it's just so unique, it's so different. Um, this is a limited edition 1966 Batcave desktop sculpture. It's 150th scale. Uh, of course, it's from the classic TV series uh, featuring Adam West. Uh, it does feature LED light up, which is really cool. And it also has a rotating turntable. And you're going to see why here in just a second. But I love the fact that the turntable is actually built into this thing, which is really cool quite cool. So again, this is 150th scale. So it's a unique scale for what we talk about here on the channel. Um, but look at this. It's really cool. If, uh, obviously, it's got the cave itself. It's got all of the computers. It's got all the furniture. Now you can move those furniture pieces around um, to kind of set up however you want to display this thing, um, which is really, really cool. And of course, it features that side. But it also, if you spin it around, it also uh, features the other side, uh, the outside. I'll show you that here in just a second. But one thing that I don't like about this, and I, I'm just dumbfounded by this, is that it doesn't include the Batmobile. So every single one of these photos, it says Batmobile not included. Like, why would you not include that in this piece? Like, I am just absolutely dumbfounded by this. So anyway, there's the outside, which is really cool. I love that they have that scene with the cave. Um, just really, really fun. And again, why did they not include the Bat the Batmobile? I just don't understand. Um, so let's talk about the dimensions on this. So this is going to be 20 pounds and it is 18 inches deep, 14 inches wide by nine inches high. So again, 18 inches deep, 14 inches wide and nine inches high. And it does include those LED elements, which I will show you here in just a bit. Now the price point on this is where uh, it's pretty darn crazy. Uh, the price point is $905 on this. Again, $905 for this back cave. So that is pretty darn expensive, but it does feature a lot of details. Obviously you can see the back computer here here, uh, it looks really nice um, with all the tubing and again you can move those furniture pieces around the filing cabinets and things like that so it's just again it's just fun it's a, a unique diorama for sure um, but it definitely captures the look and feel of that 60s TV series uh, which I absolutely loved as a kid um, so this is a very unique piece obviously it is a desktop piece it is something that you might want to put in your office uh, or even if you have a display of the 60s uh, memorabilia this would be a really cool thing I mean look at that I mean how, how iconic is that center console there um, that reactor uh, very very cool and again it would be neat in my opinion if they had some like little figures that went along with this or something again I know it'd be very very small at this scale um, but again, lots of great detail in here. You see all the piping and the computers in the background. So again, it's not uh, necessarily a specific scene, uh, but it just captures the the feeling um, from the series itself. So I thought that was that was really cool that they you know they kind of encapsulated it this way. Uh, I also wanted to show you see, see that little cave, those little indentions right there. So you can actually take the cave elements out, which is really cool, um, and that way you can drive the Batmobile through. So it's you know it's you can leave it open or closed depending on what you want do um, and this does come out July 22 to September of 2022 so I did want to make sure I let you know that uh, here you can see the outside of that where the cave is closed so that's what it looks like it does have all of that uh, greenery and foliage there um, you know just like the, the TV series and I love it it's got the road and the sign I think that's really neat um, and then of course you can also then 
open it up so you could actually see into the cave. So I thought that was a really nice touch. Um, again, $905 for this, guys. Uh, I feel like it could be, you know, overpriced for sure. But I think one of the reasons why the price point is what it is is because of the size and also then, of course, these elements right here. This is uh, 16 LEDs. Um, they're, they're not only just lights, but they also have some movement. There's some um, you know strobing effect going on. Um, and I think it looks amazing. I love the way they've lit up the rock work and it just looks really, really cool to, my, to me. Um, so again, that does that justify the price? I don't know. Again, it's very subjective. Uh, I still feel like it's overpriced for what it is. Um, here you can kind of get an idea of the size uh, overall. Uh, again, $905. It is very expensive, but it is a very cool piece of art uh, for sure, especially if you are a big, big fan of this television series. Again, it's very, very iconic and legendary if you are a Batman fan and collector. Really cool. All right, guys, so I'm going to turn it over to you. What do you guys think about this Batcave diorama? Again, it's a really, really cool piece. Uh, we can argue night and day about the price point. Obviously, it is very expensive for what it is. But if you are a fan and you really want it, it might be worth the cost to you. I feel like the biggest miss, though, by far, is how could they not include a Batmobile? I mean, come on, for that price point, they should have absolutely included a Batmobile in this piece. That is a no-brainer, so that is a giant miss, uh, for me at least, anyway. Um, but again, we can argue about the price point. I think the actual statue itself is really cool. You can move things around, all the LED lights and stuff. I think it's a really cool piece. And again, I think it would look absolutely fantastic in a Batman collector's collection. So uh, I do recommend it in that regards, but again, we can argue about the price and the fact that there's no Batmobile, you have to supply your own. I think that kind of does suck big time. But anyway, I do want to turn it back over to you guys. What do you guys think about it? Do you feel like the price is justified or do you feel like it is a big miss in the terms of price? But I do also want to know about what you think about the art. Do you actually like the Batcave itself? Because I think it's actually really, really cool. So again, I am going to turn it over to you guys. Again, thank you guys so very much for checking out this video today. Uh, if you are new here, if it's your first time watching, I think you're going to really enjoy the content that we have here and the community, the positive community that we've created. So please hit that red subscribe button down below. Also, please like this video. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. It helps collectors just like you find content just like this. So thank you again so very much for that. I appreciate you all. Love you all. And I thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you soon right here in the back cave. Bye everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them and also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.